What's up fellow players, and today we are reviewing the game called Three Kingdoms Shaqun. Beat the ball came around 24 hours total game time. Overall it was entertaining and worth the price. It's a top down ARPG hack and slash with a decent skill tree for your spear, bow and sword. The loot system and drops are decent as well as I have some purple purple gear, gold gear and the red bow. I think the tiers of weapons and gear strive from white, green, blue, purple, gold and then red at the highest and obviously you do not get them straight away but as you get to a certain level then you start seeing the higher tier drops. I am liking the simplistic gameplay as I am not Chinese. Majority of the main story is written translated into English but I am only 5 and 6 hours in. When you explore around town and talk at to random NPCs, that is when it tends to have some weird written text dialogue or is still in Chinese, which shouldn't matter anyways emo. I would say to give this game a go the first price, as you cannot expect too much. The reason why we game is to enjoy the story or the gameplay or whatever people like about the game as it's something to do pass all time before we eventually pass away and die ourselves. A solid B quality game plays like a top down Dynasty Warriors. Recommended if you're a fan of Three Kingdoms and Chinese material arts. Dialogue and things are decently written, but you must be fully fluent in Mandarin to understand it. The pros are the light RPG features not overly complicated. The combat is simplistic, but hack and slash is all good and fun. Spears are cool, underrepresented in games. Riding horses with spears are even cooler, plus you get to level up your horses, manage different horses and buy gear for them. Horse combat is properly fleshed out the skills and movesets. Spear, bow, sword, horseback, spear, bow, sword, a total of 6 unique styles. You get companions but so far they seem kinda useless and is half baked system, but they look nice and cool though, and you can equip them with gear though you lose them soon anyways as companions change. Now about the cons. Not great graphics, like a mobile game level, but didn't expect it anyways. If you're not a fan of Three Kingdoms history, there's a little reason to play this game as it's a generic hack and slash. Not properly translated, but intuitive enough to pick up anyways. Some optimizations and frame rate issues during some missions like probably only counts for 5% of the game. Don't go in exciting a masterpiece and you'll have fun. Overall verdict. Despite being quite a simplistic game, the game doesn't overreach with the content. So far from my experience there is no side quests, which is particularly enjoy because you just focus on revealing Zhao Yun's life story rather than get bogged down with a god forbid, a bunch of distracting side quests. There are some typical RPG systems such as horse management, gearing, gear enhancement, all great to have and not bloated with a bunch of useless extra systems. For the price, I'd say it was to try it out. On dollar per hour basis, I think it's well worth it. So it was review on the game Three Kingdoms Zhao Yun. If you liked this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. See you in the next videos.